All right, hot dog, here we go. Lesson 119, last five lessons. You guys ready for this? I'm getting pumped here. Okay, this is metrics, this is volume, and it's conversions. So we're gonna call it metric volume conversions. Okay, can you visualize a cubic meter? You know what a meter is, like, you know, a little more than a yard. And a square meter, and then a cubic meter, you know, you know, this big, whatever. Okay, just make sure you can visualize stuff. Um, can you visualize a cubic centimeter? Like a sugar cube or something? Or, sorry, stevia cube. I forgot, homeschoolers. So, you know, all right. How about a size of a liter? You've all heard about, you homeschoolers, you've heard about these sodas, right? Or Cokes. They're out there. Those, you know, those wicked, wicked drinks that some people drink, you know, and, you know, whatever. A two liter bottle big old honking thing like that, you know, half of one, one liter. I think they even have like liter bottles now at like 7-Elevens and stuff. So it's a little more than a quart. That's a liter. Visualize, maybe I make sure you can visualize that. Okay. A liter, you should know, is the same thing as a thousand milliliters. Now, I don't know if you guys have ever been in one of those science classes where they go like this, you know, they have a Oh, let's see, you can measure here, and then there's, oh, you know, look, and then, oh, look, this is two milliliters or whatever, okay? You should know that one milliliter is the same thing as one cubic centimeter. <clears throat> so if you're using one of those things in some homeschool, you know, whatever, a co-op chemistry class or something, and they measure something in milliliters, well, that's the same thing as a cubic centimeter. That's what's going to get us through this lesson today. Okay, just make sure you keep that in mind. Let's do a couple of these. All right, convert that many milliliters to liters. Well, the method's the same thing, right? 14, 50, 1, 600 milliliters. And usually when you're doing this, you kind of do it in cursive. So you don't just like, you know, milliliters. It looks like M1 or something, you know. Convert that to liters, piece of cake. You already know what this fraction has to have on the bottom, right? Milliliters, right? So we know that there's a thousand milliliters in one liter. So we just go, oop, that's gone. And we divide by a thousand. So one, two, three, and then there it is. I did it too many times. That should be right there. So 1451.6 liters is the conversion piece of cake straightforward. Let's try another one. 40 cubic meters to cubic centimeters. Can you visualize a cubic meter? Okay, 40 of those. How many cubic centimeters will fit in 40 of those things? Well, let's take a look. And again, write what you're given. There's 40 cubic meters. You don't even have to think. You know what these three fractions are gonna be, right? Okay, they're gonna be a meter here, a meter there, a meter there. Okay, well, now we can just, we can go ahead and cross if you want to. But anyway, let's just go, a meter is the same thing as 100 centimeters, 100 centimeters, 100 centimeters, you know, and so on. So we have a centimeter to the first, second, third power cubic centimeter. So we have 40 times 100, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that is 40 million cubic centimeters. There you go. All right, let's try one last one. This is a stinker, all right? This time we're converting 1,400 cubic meters to liters. Visualize a cubic meter, okay, to a liter, you know, of that forbidden sugary soft drink that homeschoolers don't drink, anyway. All right, so let's do it. 1400 cubic meters, you know it's going to be like that, and you know immediately you're going to have, you know, this kind of deal right there. Okay, so just write it. I got meters, meters, and meters. Now, a liter, we're going to have to figure out something here. Well, just, let's just mess with it right here. A meter is 100 centimeters, 100 centimeters, 100 centimeters, right? So let's, let's just go ahead and cross three times and then three times. Now, you tell me, what's the unit that we have now? One, two. It's cubic centimeters, right? Okay. Now you have to remember a cubic centimeter is the same thing as a, a cubic centimeter is the same thing as a milliliter, right? So we're going to go like this. We're going to go, since we have cubic centimeters up top, we're going to put cubic centimeters at the bottom. We're going to realize that a cubic centimeter is the same thing as a milliliter. Okay. Also keep this in mind. A thousand milliliters is the same thing as one liter, right? So if we say, if the, if the cubic centimeter is the same thing as a milliliter, well, we can replace this with that, right? So a thousand cubic centimeters 
is the same thing as one liter, right? Okay, now we have centimeter to the third power, cubic centimeter, that's gone. Now we just have liters left, and that's exactly what we want. So let's go ahead and uh, do the 1400. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna cancel here. I got three zeros here. There's two zeros I'm gonna cancel, and I'm gonna cancel one of those zeros. So I'm just gonna write the 1400 times one, two, and then three zeros. One, two, three zeros, and then yoink, there we go. And the unit we're left with is liters. Now if you wanted to go ahead and just do that, and then at the end, the cancel, that's fine too. But anyway, that's the key to remembering these, to getting these meters to liters, is just realizing that a cubic centimeter is the same thing as a millimeter. So that's the key. Okay, well let's try these three practice problems on base 376. Pause it and give this a whirl. Okay, write what you're given. 500 cubic meters, so meters to the third power. Don't even think. You know what you gotta do. They gotta be three meters down here, right? Okay, meter is 100 centimeters, 100 centimeters, 100 centimeters, okay? And then we can cancel, cancel, cancel. You know, if you get stuck, go ahead and write at least something you can start with and just start canceling. Look where you are. If I were stuck, if I were you, I'd go, okay, I got centimeter, I got cubic centimeters. Okay, cubic centimeters. I'd go, wait a minute, a cubic centimeter is the same thing as a milliliter. So you could go, well, a cubic centimeter is the same thing as one milliliter. It wants us to change this to milliliters, so we got it, right? Centimeter, 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 that's gone. And now nothing's left except for milliliters. We got it. So we got 500, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, you, you, and then milliliters, we got it. 500 million milliliters. That's it. By the way, just very quickly, as just a brain exercise. I mean, it's good to just do these things rotely and just get them down. But every once in a while, you know, be creative about it or something. Not, I mean, I don't mean creative. Like, a, I don't mean, oh, I want to do that. My interpretive dance of them, you know, can just, just visualize this. Can you visualize a cubic meter like this big? Can you visualize 500 of those? That's what we got. So they're asking how many milliliters, in other words, cubic centimeters, do we have in those 500 things? There's 500 million of them. That is an insane amount. Okay. Anyhow. Okay. Just making sure we're there. All right. Try this one. 500 liters, convert it to cubic meters. Go ahead and pause it and try it. Okay. 500 liters. I'm going to cubic meters. Don't even think about it. Don't get caught up in it. Just put in liters at the bottom. You know that's going to be there. Okay. So a liter is, you could go, okay, one liter is a thousand milliliters. You might even go, I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm, I haven't even really gotten anything. I'm supposed to be getting the meters? What the heck? You could go a milliliter. Uh, wait a minute. A milliliter is the same thing as a cubic centimeter. So just go one milliliter is the same thing as one cubic centimeter. And at least you can do something, you know? Knock those things out. All right? Now you're looking at cubic centimeters. Well, you don't even think about it. You know what you got to do on this point, right? You have a centimeter to the third power, and then you... You and okay, I got centimeters. I got centimeters. I got centimeters. I'm trying to get the meters. So let's what the heck? Let's get let's go, go to meters here. I got a hundred centimeters is a meter. A hundred is a meter. A hundred is a meter. All right. So look, you can cross that out. One, two, three, and then you know you got five hundred, and then let's see, you got two zeros and two more zeros at the bottom. So let's just go, and then. And then one, two, three, and then there we go. Did I do that right? 100. Okay, so five, zero, and is that right? Did I do that right? Hold on, let me check this out real quick. Okay, I see where I goofed. I forgot to put this one here on the bottom there. So that's really, if I just leave it like that, 50 over 100 uh, cubic meters, which is, of course, just 0.5 cubic meters. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Had a brain glitch there. Okay, so let's do the last one. Pause it and give it a whirl. Okay, well, news flash: a cubic centimeter is the same thing as a milliliter. So if you have five million cubic centimeters, you have five million milliliters. So if you ended up doing something like this, you might have uh, cubic centimeters. You go like this, and then you could go. Okay, wait a minute. A cubic centimeter is the same thing as a milliliter. 
you might go loop, loop, and just go five million times one divided. Oh, five million. There we go. Okay. So that is it. All right. Well, we'll see you guys next time. Do a good job. 25 right. Try to get 25 right or more on this problem set. Okay. See y'all. 